Welcome to our fourth tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll take a look at how we can program the Newton Raphson method. And we'll also take a look at the find root function, which utilizes the Newton Raphson method. Now, as I did in the last tutorial, I've copied and pasted the Newton Raphson method from the online notes just so you guys can take a look at it and follow along with how I'm programming it. So let's go ahead and define a function. I'll scroll down to give us a little bit more space. So we need to input a function. And the Newton Raphson method requires an initial guess x naught maximum number of iterations and a stopping error. xi is determined using the previous estimate and the derivative of the function. We'll start with calculating the derivative. So df is equal to d of the function of x and we'll set up our x table with an initial guess of x naught, placeholder for the error, and initialize our increment i. Now we need a while loop that will evaluate all of the estimates and the corresponding errors for each iteration. As per usual, we need our loop to stop when i has reached the maximum number of iterations or when we reach the stopping error. So while and keep going as long as i is less than or equal to n max and as long as the absolute value of the error of i is greater than the stopping error. All right. We know that a new estimate requires the current estimate, the function evaluated the current estimate, and the derivative evaluated the current estimate. We can use square brackets to evaluate the function, but we need a rule to evaluate the derivative. So x new equals x table of i minus the function evaluated at x table of i divided by the derivative evaluated at the x table of i. Just close this bracket here. And if we look at this formula, it's exactly the same as the formula we have up here for the next estimate. Now we can use the append function to add to our list of estimates. So x table is equal to x table appended with x new. And now we need to add to our list of errors by calculating the relative error of the new iteration. So error is going to be appended with, and we're just going to use relative error, x new minus x table of i divided by x new. Then we need to increase i by 1. Now we can set up our table using the table and prepend functions. So our solution table equals prepend the table. And we started with an initial guess x0. So an iteration number needs to start at 0, and so we need i minus 1, x table of i, error of i, and that's it. And we want i going from 1 to the length of x table. And now we can prepend our titles. Iteration, 
x and the error. Finally, we can display our table with the matrix form function. Solution table in matrix form. Let's wrap our entire function around round brackets. Shift enter to initiate the function. And now let's test it. We'll use the same example we used in the last tutorial. So the sine of 5x plus the cos of 2x. Now newt and we need our function, our initial guess, we'll start with zero, maximum number of iterations, and our stopping error. Shift enter. And here's our root. And we can see that it only took us four iterations to reach this solution. Because the newton raphson method relies on using derivatives, it converges very fast. In the next part of this tutorial, we'll compare this value with the value we get from the find root function.